Okay, so here we have a OpenShift dashboard. We're going to log in. Note this is OpenShift 456, so it does support the OpenShift virtualization operators. We've already installed OpenShift virtualization and Portworx Enterprise. So both of those are sort of a prerequisite to this demo um, using Portworx with VMs on OpenShift. So go ahead and make sure and install both operators, make sure everything's running properly, and then you can go ahead and move on to this. So now if we go to the virtualization workloads, uh, this is where your VMs will be displayed. We're gonna go ahead and create a virtual machine. Here we have a virtual machine template for Fedora, which we're gonna use for this demo. And this sort of is a pre-configured VM template that allows us to create VMs a little more quickly such that it has things like the source and container image already set up and ready to go. You'll still need to give it a name. We're gonna call this my VM. And the description is a VM using Portworx volumes. The next thing you can do is scroll down and check out to make sure everything is the way you want it. We're going to upgrade the memory and CPU used for this VM and click next. Modify the networking interfaces if you need to. We're gonna keep that the default. And here in the storage tab is where we're gonna add our Portworx volume. There's a number of different options. We're going to attach an existing disk. Um, there's a number of disks already created here, but we're gonna create one specifically for our VM. So here you can see we have a PVC YAML file much like the ones you would use for your pods or deployments or staple sets. We're gonna copy this PVC YAML file. And you can see that the storage class name is PX replicated, which means that this PVC is being provisioned from Poreworks. We're gonna edit the name so that it's BM PVC3, and we're gonna make sure that we identify it with 30 gigabytes of storage. Go ahead and create this PVC. You can do this with the UI too, but we're gonna go ahead and use the OC command line. Now that that PVC is created, we're gonna head back over to our dashboard and see that that PVC3 is available to us. We're going to select that disk, and this is basically adding that Portworx volume to our VM definition. And so this will essentially attach disk zero based on the Portworx volume that we created via the PVC definition. Make sure everything else is the way that you want it in terms of what cloud in it, virtual hardware, and everything else that the virtual machine wizard gives you inside of OpenShift. Go ahead and click Start, and this will kick off your virtual machine. And everything goes well, it'll go through a starting and then running phase where you can interact with your VM. You can see here it's labeled as starting, and in just a few moments, it should come up and be running. At this time, what's happening is that Porx is doing everything it normally would to uh, make sure the volume is attached to the node where the where the VM is going to be running. And so here we can see this is up and attached to 10, 180, 30 gigabytes. And so this is showing that Portworx is attaching that volume to where this VM is running, which is this node six that it's running on. And we can log into the console here to see the virtual machine finish booting up. And once that virtual machine is ready to go, we'll go ahead and log into Fedora. That's the operating system that we deployed here. We're gonna go ahead and log in using virtctl uh, with the console command so that we can use it from our terminal we have open here. So this gives us a login prompt to our Fedora VM that we just booted in the background. Now we're logged into our Fedora VM and we can ls 
BLK, which shows us the VDC device, which is our 30 gigabyte Portworx volume. So that is a VM running Fedora Linux operating system booted up in OpenShift virtualization using a Portworx PVC in OpenShift. Hope this was useful and thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.